Okay. Um, thank you for for selecting this video and watching it. Um, this is something that I've built with the power functions motors and all that sort of stuff. And this is actually an an elevator that can hold several Lego people and move them up and down. I'll just take five of them here and uh Yes, I'm like throwing them in there, I'm not standing them up or anything. Let's close these two doors. Put in here. And take our glorious remote control. And we Okay, so it goes all the way up to the top here, and I've built this little platform for the people to stand on. Um, and uh, the um, the elevator does have like these kind of rails I built here with these little tall pieces. It's a little part that juts out on the side. If you see there, and the elevator itself is here. Um, Thing that slides between those rails and at the bottom here that just sort of holds holds this part up um, well this part doesn't hold it up but like it holds these things in place so that they don't like buckle out um, this is the mechanism that I built to operate it we have the the um, standard Lego motor here you have this little gear here. The motor is, um, here, well, it's connected this way to the uh, remote control receiver and just set the battery box right down on there on the surface. See, small gear, big gear, small gear on the other side of the shaft, medium gear, another small gear, and this is the winding drum. This part, um, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't know where this thing came from. Um, this is just something I happen to have in my big collection of Legos and stuff. But this thing, um, I attached it on top of this part um, and threaded the string through there and then put this thingy on. Put a little cross axle here, another axle through here using these little stack on pieces like this to hold it in. So there's a lot of different ways you could probably rig up something that'll roll up a string or unroll a string. So don't be dismayed if you don't have um, a piece like this. I don't even know where this came from, so I can't really... So otherwise, I'd tell you where it came from. Um, like this little gray piece right here, the one with the string wrapped around it. The string was just um, something from a sewing kit. Um, and the motors I just ordered from the Lego website and um, so you'll see that I put this part here to support the gears this part here to hold in place and um, so um, this is how I support the um, the remote receiver is kind of suspended from above um, by these little pieces there it's not exactly the most sturdy build, but since the remote receiver never moves in this design, it doesn't really matter. These things I put here so that if the elevator drops, it doesn't like get stuck to the floor, so I don't have to like, um, I don't have to like pry it off. Um, and these little things on the top, I put those there to make it easier to like grab a hold of the doors and slide them shut.
Okay, pretend they're all the way closed. Oh, actually they are. So it won't be too hard to pretend they are then. <laughs> okay. So you can see it go all the way down. Hitting the floor. And yes, I know it's a little cockeyed when it goes up. That's because of the way I attach the cable, or the, the string. Um, it's kind of like, I just, I just stuck it um, underneath the Lego and then put this one on it so that it was held on from on by this thing on top. Oh. Also, anyone who's ever seen the movie Die Hard 2, Die Harder, or the movie Speed, will probably know what the purpose of this is. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyway. Obviously, you know, um, I didn't really, so, um, it's, um, I think the, uh, the hardest part was trying to design this thing right here, this whole mechanism up here to wind up the string, because it has to, like, hold the whole weight of the whole thing, and, like, a little structural thing. Um, the elevator itself, like this part, wasn't actually that hard to build. Um, I just needed to build a box, pretty much. Um, the way the, the doors are in there, they're just like, they're just like these little Lego pieces. I did this, and I stuck them in there. Stuck them in this little track. Build a little space, like, one Lego wide. So there's two walls here. Those marks I put there line up with those right there so that I can level it, so to speak. So, um, this, this took a few tries to get that top part right, um, to get to actually do a mechanism or something. Um, And, um, attaching the motor directly to the, to the string roll-up thing probably isn't going to work because it's just going to go too fast and you, you'll have no, con you, you won't be able to control where it stops. So, that's why you want to use a few gears to slow things down. Um, so, um, and... And so that's about it.